Well, that's why he's been so freaked out. Is that the one that was here the other day? Could be. Look at his back. Yeah. Nice Look at that. Nice rock. He doesn't look, he was not, he's not on the move like the one the other day, so maybe you could, uh... Well, can you recognize the horns that look like the same horns? He was going so quickly, I don't know. It looked smaller to me the one yes, the other day. But I was like, holy shit, there he goes, there he goes, and off he goes. Oh. There's no time, he didn't stop or anything. This one looks bigger. What's that, Paula? Bullwinkle. Who is that? Bullwinkle the moose. Well, I wonder if he um, will freak out if I step outside here. What's that, kitty? Boy, he's... It's here. So do you need to call the furnace people and tell them not to Well, I don't know. He's kind of panicking because he's getting the snow and he's burying his best food. I mean, they can still eat the aspen. And it's funny, without the head, it looks like a bear. Yeah. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah. The coloring is so, he's so black. Yeah. And you don't have tails. That's quite a rack he's got. So you think that thing is a thousand pounds? It doesn't look as big as a horse. No, that's not a huge one. That's that one's probably five, five hundred. That's kind of a small bull moose. He's got a good set of antlers, though. He's looking back for Rocco. Probably heard him bark. He's like, wait a second, I'm the biggest guy in the forest. Why would I care? Bullwinkle loose. Oh, it just came? Like, see? I'm so confused. Do you think he'll run if I jump out there? I don't have any idea. Probably not. If I make the bull moose sound, will he come after us? No, well, don't do that. Let's not have him ramming the fancy structure here. I don't think he could get to you, but they're stupid. I like that thing dangling from his neck. It's pretty funny. Oh, 